Hi everybody, Pastor Dave here from Real Life Church. Welcome to this episode of Rejuvenate. May the Lord bless you today. You know, as a Christian, sometimes you can get a little bit uh, discouraged by the state of the country that we live in. You know, it's uh, pretty hostile sometimes towards God and hostile towards Christianity. And sometimes, too, we can get a little bit concerned when Christians backslide. And if we're not careful, there's a tendency to think, oh, am I the only one left who believes God's word? Am I only the one left who's praying? You know, what's, what's going on? And I just want to encourage you, you're not the only one left. Because there was a guy in the Bible, that's who we're going to read about now. His name was Elijah. He was a prophet to Israel. And Israel was backslidden. It wasn't going particularly well in that country when he was around. And so he preached. And he was a powerful preacher. But he had a bit of a down moment. And sometimes we can have down moments. And he was thinking, what is going on? Isn't anybody listening to what I'm saying? And he complained to God. He got a bit discouraged. He said, God... Uh, you know, you need to help me out here. I'm the only one left. And so God encouraged him and God spoke to him. And this is what God said and made encourage you today. If you think you're the only one, then this is definitely for you. First Kings chapter 19, verse 18. He said, God said to, to Elijah, yet I will preserve 7,000 others in Israel who have never bowed down to Baal or kissed him. Now, Baal was a foreign god that these many Israelites decided to follow. And that's why Elijah thought, am I the only one following the Lord? But the Lord said, no, you're not the only one. I still preserve 7,000 others in Israel who have never bowed down to Baal or kissed him. And I just want to encourage you as you follow Jesus Christ, you're not the only one. Right across Australia today, there's people just like you who, who believe God. There's people just like you who love Jesus. There's people just like you who are praying. There's people just like you who believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. There's people just like you who are not giving away their faith. There's people just like you who, who just want to honor and lift up the mighty name of Jesus. I tell you, God always has his 7,000. And uh, so you're not on your own today. And Father, I just pray for my brothers and sisters that you'll encourage them. I thank you right across Australia. But in spite of what we see on TV, TV, in spite of what the media tries to promote, thank you, Lord, that you've got your people scattered throughout this wonderful land of Australia. Lord, we're not on our own. We thank you. Your kingdom has come. And we pray, Lord, may your kingdom grow here in this land. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, everybody. Have a marvelous day. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.